of the NBA. Alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and our reporter, Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. We're pleased to be joined by one of the greatest players to ever take the WNBA hardwood, Candace Parker. Thanks, BA. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be a lot of fun. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. No movement for them, maintaining their top 10 spot. When I look at this visiting team, they've been giving their all in every game, eager to show those who doubted them that they're capable of being the top team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Here's Bogues. He takes it in. He got a piece of it. They get it back. Tries yet again. And the basket is good. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Pass to D-Box. Here's Petrovic. Clock at six. And the three-pointer goes. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Gone one of three from the floor. Smith outside. Here's Elliott. Three-pointer off the mark. And now just over a minute played here in the first. To the middle. It's picked off. Here's Bokes. In his last outing, eight points for him. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Well, Candace, one area where the WNBA has dominated the NBA, free throw percentage. Yes. Um, you know, I think that it definitely comes down to our bigs being able to stretch the floor. I don't know whether that has anything to do with playing overseas, but we practice a lot of free throws during our career. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. They get it again. They shoot again. Can't get the layup. With the drive. Shots good by Kukoc. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Pass to Elliott. Right side. Smith right side. They get it back. No dice on the putback jam. Gone three of three out of the gate. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure coach couldn't be happier with the results. To the inside. Who coach? It's hauled in by Robinson. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Now here's MP. In his last outing, he had 11 points. Banked it in off the glass. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Elliott. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Now with players just getting bigger and faster, when do you think we'll see our first WNBA dunk contest? And is that important to you, Candace? I think it's just around the corner. I think it's going to be in the next couple years that we're going to see a number of ladies go out there and show them how it's done. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Pass to Robinson. Here's Elliott. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Yep, that one goes. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team, Sean Elliott. At the line for one.
gone five of six. They're rolling. Here's Petrovic, covered by Smith. Going inside, and denied! He sends it right off the glass. Inside. Oh, it misses! Had a chance to tie it. And here's MP, giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Shoots. Oh, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Shooting only 31% to get this game underway. Right side, Robinson. It's rebounded by Divac. Got six of eight shots to go. Pass to Petrovic. Down low. Four on the clock. To the paint. Stolen! In transition, here they come! Smith, no good. Great opportunity. Just couldn't complete the play. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. When you think about how important bench play is in the modern game, Candace, how big of a boost is it for a starter when the bench plays well? When the bench comes in and raises the level of play, it definitely makes your job easier. When you have a bench that you can depend on, a team that plays against the starters constantly in practice to make them better. It just makes the overall team and the energy go up. Mm, can certainly add to the depth and buy some quality rest. To the left side wing. Pass to Bogues. Here's McKee. This one for three. The shot that time, not on target. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. And here's MP. Releases. Drops in the short one. And they're building up steam. Getting out in front and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out. Step by step. Valuing each possession. Here's Bogues. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Who poked away. Pass to Petrovic. And he lobs it up top. Alley-oop up top. Hammer it home. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's McKee. Here's Cycli. The fader. That one is off. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Here's Petrovic. He's got five. Four on the clock. Pass to MP. Takes the three. And McKee pulls it down. Gone 0 for 2 from outside. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Cycli can't hit. Gone 1 for 2 from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Well, it feels like it's just a matter of time before a team hires a woman to be their head coach. Candace, how monumental an occasion will that be in your mind? I think it'll be huge, but it'll be huge in the steps of how it will trickle down to other avenues of life. I think it's so important for, for everyone to view Two women three, as three, capable three, people. Three. So the moment that step is taken, there's going to be so many more organizations and companies that hire women because then the they Is that something team. Candace Parker would pursue? Um, I lack patience, so I, I, I can't coach. I'm going to be over here with you, B.A. Where you're most welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Or cleared the path, put him in position for a prime-time dunk. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. 136 left to play in the first. 
Pass to McKee. Over to the left wing. Here's Bogues. From behind the arc. Petrovic with a rebound. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. ABC. And McKee pulls it down. Shooting has not been great early. Just 27%. Fifty-nine seconds left in the opening quarter. Pass to Cycli. Here's McKee. Offline with a three. He's got to take a back seat right now. When you're ice cold, you can't just keep gunning. Here's Petrovic. Five points in the game. That one doesn't drop. Inside, here's Kerr. Count it. One for one to start the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Down low, Petrovic. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. He's got seven. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Second team foul. Here's Bogues. From 13. Can't get it to drop. The first quarter concludes. And a...